very excited to see you guys, especially because I guess you're announcing here today uh, your new spin-off film, The Adventures of Ankar Plutt. Yeah, that's, yes. cool. that's the new spin-off. Simon, spin -off. talk about it. it. Ankar is a young guy. He's, he's quite thin. It's a prequel. Uh, he lives on the outer rim, just making his way in the world. Right. He's, a, he's a ladies' man, sure. Uh, but he's got this great idea for a new... Oh, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Worst idea or best idea ever, JJ? Uh, An Uncar Plus spin-off. Uh, it'll be good for. I'm uh, never putting that thing on again. A comic book. <laughs> yes, a comic book. Yeah, you don't have to do anything, man. It was so hot. It was. It was so so hot. But great. Oh my god, is Simon complaining? That never happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm very excited for Star Trek Beyond, especially because as a Star Trek fan like yourself, sir, and like you, JJ, um, I feel like it has like it seems to have a classic episode structure to it. I mean, it kind of recalls like a, the kind of episode we would see where the ship is stranded on a far-flung planet, exploring a, a you know a, encountering a new race. Is that part of the job, part of the idea behind this one? Yeah, hundred percent. It was it was something that we thought about a great deal going into the writing process. About we we always had agreed that that, that, that the Enterprise would be off on its five year mission, and um, you know as as well as well as making a film which lots of people can go and see and say, hey, what's this Star Trek? And then go back fifty years for the people that had been there for fifty years. It was fun to kind of like make something which they would see as part of that continuum. It's a hard thing to do, but. You know, back in the day when Gene Roddenberry was making his show, he was, um, you know, banned by certain limitations, and we've, we're finding ourselves less and less in that position now. And so there's those adventure worlds, as he called them, that, that he wanted the, the Enterprise to go to. Go to. He, they, they can really go there now, and we've really gone there with this one. Was there a temptation to bring back Benedict as Khan in any, in any capacity? Was that ever discussed by you guys? I'd like to bring back Benedict Cumberbatch generally because you don't see him much anymore. Right. I, it's, Under the radar. He did, he did Into Darkness and then he sort of vanished. And it's like, <laughs> well, he was quite good. I liked him. Some of the speeches he did, some of the shorter speeches he did in Into Darkness were quite good. And I thought that he'd have, he'd have a career. Sadly, it didn't happen. <laughs> Blink closed eyes to me. <laughs> but Idris, adding Idris to the fold as a new character, obviously, um, give me a sense of sort of what kind of villain we're going to experience in this, time, in this go round. He's very, very. <laughs> <laughs> what you were going to asinine then, and I decided not. I said, like asinine. <laughs> I was going to go with something. He's quite ostentatious. Um, no, or snickety. I'm quite hot because I've got a mark on my shirt. I've got to wear my jacket, so I'm a bit. I'm a bit discombobulated. <laughs> you might pass out. Want to help him out, JJ? Right. Idris. Uh, Idris. Idris. Uh, he's incredible. First of all, he's. <laughs> Incredible, uh, and he plays. I don't want to give away too much of the well, story. He plays the character of Luther from the TV series, but he plays it in the Star Trek universe. And it's like, true. why is he suddenly angry about everything? He's a detective. <laughs> well, you find out why he's angry because spa his spaceship has got a bro broken leg. <laughs> like, like you find out. <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's awesome, and uh, uh, Idris is is such a, an imposing figure of a man. You know, he's super tall and super talented, and and he's got so much charisma. And we wanted to create an interesting villain for this this film, and and Idris just just brought it. And we, I remember sitting down with Justin and Doug and talking to Idris about the character, and 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 Idris had so many good ideas that helped us sort of shape it. And he's he's the actor you want to work with, just because he's collaborative and he does what he's told. <laughs> we uh we all like Pine. <laughs> <laughs> he goes rogue. Um, <laughs> we. All I, I think I know the answer to this, but I mean, we all loved uh, The yep. Force Awakens, but I know you, like myself, what? The Force Awakens? Have you had the new he directed shark, shark film, Sharknado, is called The Fourth Awakens. Is that Thanks. true? Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, but The Force Awakens could have used a little more Jar Jar. I know you're a big fan like myself, right? How are you feeling about that? I was sad that he wasn't in it. Uh, no, I mean, who knows what happened to him? How, it's a long time after he might, he's probably passed away. Gungans live a long, long time, no, don't they? It's just because he wants to, he does an impression. It's the only thing I've done it for him. It's yeah, the, yeah, it's do the it, only just one do it. he can do. Miss, I miss being in the so Force Awakens. I know. Wow. Where was I, JJ? Horribly accurate. <laughs> How do you do that? Well, it's an impression of Fimo. It's like you can right. do an impression of I've never walked out of an interview before, but this may, this may be a reason. Hey, I can do a great impression of Jeffrey Dahmer. You want to hear it? <laughs> it's like that. It's very similar. It's the same voice.